You also also mentioned you got a joint venture deal done. Yes. That doesn't just happen. No. You know, for anybody who's watching this, what is a joint venture? Why doesn't it just happen? And how the hell did it happen for you based on one artist? Well, I think in this instance, it was more the relationship. You know, I'd had success with them in the past as a lawyer and as, as a person that they felt that they could get, they could good, you know, do good business with, right? And um, and 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 really, that's it. And I, I you know, over the years, I've, I've brought Craig, you know, a bunch of different deals and um, and helped close deals with them. And and uh, and that's really what it was, man. I, you know, I've had success with them. And I think a lot of people skip over the fact because I think people have asked me this before. They were like, well, why are you? You know, you know what? You know what makes you special? I was make what makes me special is my relationships. You know what makes me special is my approach, and it's not just like I showed up with this guy and I'm a, a guy off the street that they just met yesterday. Like you know, I, I we you know I've had a lot of success over the years, and and I've treated people right and treated people with respect, even when I disagree with them, right? And I think that I, th I think over the course of my years in um in the music space, I um I've gone up, gone above and beyond as a lawyer, like I'm not the guy, I never built a reputation as the guy who's just sitting behind a desk, you know, waiting for the phones to ring. I was always a guy who was proactive. Um, you know, I'd done a, you know, we, I think uh, prior to that, we had, you know, at a, Todd Moskowitz and Joey Ie were at Asylum and, and we had done significant business with Swisher House out of, out of Houston and they had Paul Wall and Mike Jones and, and, um, and I'd done great business with them and they were really helpful and, and and helping me, helping me be seen as someone um, who wasn't just a lawyer or who was a lawyer who, who would go above and beyond to make the deal happen, right? And, um, and so in that respect, I think um, I, I started to build a reputation for that. And, and that's what really helped me. Uh, the guy who would come to the office and help close the deal for the client in the middle of the night, right? and get things done, not just a guy who's working from nine to five, right? And building that reputation and doing it for years was, was, was I think, were the, one of the things that helped uh, assist me in, in getting to where I, I, I've been, where I am now, actually, sorry. Yeah, I, I don't think people, you know, because anybody would ask that same question, why you? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But again, it goes to the journey. Yeah. You know, it really, it, it really you know, if we're gonna have a theme Throughout this conversation, it, it, it's the journey, man. You you just yeah. over the years you did business, but not just did business. You did good mm -hmm. business, yeah, with people, even when you disagreed with them. Yeah, uh, but but you were a man of integrity. You put in the work, and when it was time for you to have your own, you can approach the co-chairmen's of one of the most powerful record labels on the planet, Atlantic Records, and say, look, this is what I'm trying to do. I know yeah. I'm going to have the passion, um, the day-to-day -day passion anyway, for law. Mm -hmm. You know, help me out. Yeah. I'm bringing quality. I'm bringing value. So it's not like I'm asking for a handout. Exactly. But, and, and I think that it's just so important, to, just some of the, the nuggets that you're dropping for people to listen in on. You don't never know when somebody who you just did good by, yeah. thinking about it, yeah. is going to come to play a pivotal role in your future. Earlier in the conversation, you spoke about a girl who called you up middle of the night and you were about to go and pick go up, break. you know, you're in <laughs> Jersey, she's in New York. Yeah. And, and just doing just the gesture. Yeah. The, the gesture. Okay, not yeah. a problem. Where are you at? You're a young lady. I don't want you out in the middle of the night. Yeah. I'll come get you. The very next day, God rewards you for it. So, yeah. You never know, man. That's why I, I, the, 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 the overall theme of this conversation, to your point, is again, you never know. And you have to lead with faith. One, you have to leave, leave, leave with, um, and, and that faith will, in my opinion, if you have, if your faith is strong enough, it will diminish the fear. 
because all of this stuff is, is you know, you can be afraid. They, it, you know, there's moments at every time that where, you, where things seem uncertain. Like you said, you know, we may present well, but we may have two nickels in our pocket, bro. Yep. You know what I mean? At times, and there's definitely been times when I've been faking it till I made it. You know what I mean? So, um, and, I, and I'm not shameful of that. I'm not, I'm not ashamed of that at all, because I think that's part of the process. Or should you be? Yeah, that's part of what makes you, makes people understand, you know? I, I, I think like, you know, some of the most, I've, I've, you know, some of the things I've done, I think that I'm most proud of is I've built some really strong relationships that I'm extremely proud of. People that I feel like I can be, I can be forthright with and tell them, hey, listen, man, I'm in a, I'm in a bind. I'm in a, a tough spot. Um, or I've got something really special. Like, you know, we should, you know, I, I, you, we, we should take advantage of this, right? Or, or take, 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 you know, take the opportunity in this and, and, and really make, make it into something bigger. Um, it's, you know, it's, 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 it's a journey. Like you said, it's a journey and it definitely is sometimes, like I was saying about Puff earlier, you get people that like, you know, that, that, that don't appreciate your journey no matter where you are in life. And they're like, yo, they think they can, they can do what you do, what you're doing, you're not doing anything special. And maybe, maybe so, but um, the reality of it is, you know, can you sustain it? You know, can you sustain during this journey? You gotta go through those hard times in order to have some sustainability, you know, in order to get over, because the hard times are gonna continue to come, you know? And you gotta be able to, you know, build up a real strong, some stamina to get through this, uh, to, to, to really make it in my opinion. No, you really do. Um, and that that's something for anybody, like, the hard times are gonna to continue to come. Yep. There, there is no, I'm gonna make it to the other side of this rainbow and it's gonna be, you know, a- uh, 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 Shangri-La. Yeah, <laughs> like that ain't happening. Nah. It's always going to be very, very tough times. Yep. You never know who you're gonna to have to reach out to. So it's so important that mm. over the course of your journey, do people right, treat yep. them respect. I don't care if they are the janitor or they're sitting at the head of the table as the CEO, you just yep. don't know. And it's another thing that uh, I, I, I sat with Amanda Seals uh, a while ago and she said something and I, I would love to put it in her words, but I don't remember it verbatim. But mm -hmm. she, she was talking about somebody who she had met on her way up. And mm -hmm. the person had treated her terrible. And mm -hmm. then when she got to, you know, where she was trying to go and everybody screaming her name, she re-met this guy, but he mm -hmm. didn't remember her. And he didn't mm -hmm. remember how bad he treated her. Mm -hmm. And she called him out on her in true Amanda Seals form. She called him right. out on, this is how you treated me. But yep. people think, do you think you're the only person that's trying to get to the top? Do you think that you're exactly. the only person that will be successful just because you're successful now, you don't understand my drive. You don't understand my passion. You don't understand where I come from. And I will do anything yep. to, to make sure that my yesterday is not indicative of my tomorrow. So, so that's a great point. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.